also earlier in the video I took dechlorinator and mixed it in my uh, 200 litre reservoir and I took a sample straight away and found that still had some chlorine in it um, and then I took a two hour sample and uh, which removes all the chlorine now um, in fact I think that mixing is likely to uh, play a key part here and so I thought I oh, know I can test that using potassium permanganate uh, which is something that we can see and see how hydrogen, how quickly hydrogen peroxide removes it, because hydrogen peroxide being a bit like the chlorinator, mixing it in a small quantity in a large barrel, seeing how quickly it neutralizes all the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 200 milligrams of potassium permanganate to this pool. We're gonna turn it purple, which is a bit like all the chlorine floating around the water, but you can see it. Then I'm gonna add some hydrogen peroxide in just the right amount and see how quickly it takes to neutralize it. And that'll give us an idea how quickly dechlorinator works. Okay, right, so this is about five minutes on now. You can see the white pipe right at the bottom of this 200 litre tank. It's uh, got the pinkish color. I've got 25 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide at 6%, which is just the right amount to neutralize all of this when it's evenly spread. So I'm gonna chuck it in, give it a stir like I would do normally, and then see how long it takes all of the pink to go. This is equivalent to throwing in dechlorinator and the chlorine disappearing. Okay, so still a bit of a stir there, still plenty of, still plenty of pink visible. bit clearer but it's still plenty of pink. Oh that's getting a lot clearer now though. That's there. Yep now we clear up the top here and we're pretty clear down to the bottom. There you go. We're clear. So there you go it takes about a minute to completely disperse uh, a chemical throughout a 200 litre barrel with continuous stirring. So when you're using your dechlorinator, as long as you're leaving it for at least a minute and stirring it, that's plenty of time for it to um, remove all the chlorine before you add it to the pond.